Okay, so here are our unlikely heroes. Uh, we've got this guy and that lady. Shadow and Sir Valoran, I think something like that. Okay, so I've been playing a little bit more uh, since the last episode. In fact, let me show you what I've done. So I entered... Okay, there was a storehouse here. Harbor Warehouse. Uh, nothing really happened there. I mean, I could have snuck in, tried to break in and steal things, but nothing happened. Uh, so I went up here into the town. I am now in the main city. And what I love about this is you can click anywhere on the map and create a custom marker. So I really like that. So these orange ones, those are notes that I've put on. I'm keeping track of what each building is, if it doesn't already say. And like this, uh, there's a treasure map vendor here. It costs a lot more money than what I've got right now. But once I get some money, I can go back and buy some treasure maps and go see how that mechanic works in the game. Uh, so you can see what I've explored. Um, but when I got to, I was actually in here. And I'm going to end up coming back here to finish off this building. When I was in here, uh, some lady used this stone, this magic stone that she got. And big lightning uh, appeared and it sent me to this other realm where I learned that there are these star stones uh, scattered around. That's what I need to collect. It has something to do with the end of time and then the void and there's this evil dragon. Kind of, uh, time is shrinking. Uh, but because of me, there's something special with me. I'm l somehow linked to these star stones. So I need to collect as many as I can find. Uh, so anyway, that's that's where I'm going to head back over here. Now, I can show you this other realm. So this shows all the waypoints that I've uh, opened up in the game so far. But the, here's this one, the end of time. So we'll just go there and uh, show you this. It's like a garden area. Okay, the Homestead Hall. So that's where I am here. And it's just a bunch of inactive portals as of now. You know what, there was one active one. I'm gonna go see wh where that goes while I'm here. But anyway, at the, end of the, at the end of this is a lady called the Weaver of Time, and she's the one that told me all about, all about it. Now this would send me back uh, to a place called the Observatory where I met this little imp who is a guy who, uh, he writes down, uh, logs, everything that ever happens. So he's here now with the Weaver of Time lady but that would take me back to his observatory. There was nothing really there except this big telescope, which you look through it and it showed this dark cloud and the evil dragon flying. So I want to see where this active portal takes me to the forbidden zone. Hmm. The teleporter refuses to work. Okay. Um, now, at any time, I can click on this thing and it opens these things up. So I'm going to go back to the north gate. That's where I was in the city. Okay, so I'm going to continue my adventures here. I found out the buckets, uh, you can put them on your head and wear them as helmets. Which at this point, it, it actually has a better armor class than the hood that I've got on. But it restricts your sight. And uh, there are a couple penalties to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark on my... Uh, map, map that there's a well there because a well is one of the items you can use to craft but I have no idea uh, what it would be used for and there's another bucket which I don't need and actually I like ex I like walking around with her because she has a better uh, pers perception score uh, you can see her perception is 7 Whereas his is only five. So she has a better chance of seeing things. So that's why I like to... I've spotted something. Oh, here I see. A moonstone. Let's see what that is. Anything special? Uh, experts claim the stone can be found in many Rivalonian quarries. Okay. Hot Topics and Pyramids How-To. Oh, I'll show you something else I got. Hot Topics. You travel from one period to the other. 
Fifth party is a file. Okay, you can use the pyramids while holding them, or you can throw or place them on the ground. In order to pick up a pyramid once more, you must drag it. Okay, so in the middle of all my little time travel talk with the imp and the lady, uh, I was given this teleporter pyramid. Wow, look, it's worth 2,200 gold. Um, oh, was this a doorway? Uh, no. Um, so there are two, two pyramids. One you set down as basically a transmitter, and the other one works as a receiver. So it's basically a quick travel between any two points in the game. You don't have to use the rifts, the uh, waypoints. But the caveat was that the imp only... No, it wasn't the imp, it was the cat uh, wizard guy. He actually works for uh, the imp. He's his contact here, his agent here in the real world. So I've been talking to that wizard guy. Anyway, he gave me this pyramid. He said he only has the one. But apparently, if I use it, it's going to send me to the second one. Whoa. What is this? Cecilia. Persuade this character by charming, intimidating. If your perception is high enough, you can see in brackets what answers grants the highest bonus. <clears throat> What's going on? First I have to... Okay. I'll murder the... So this is me speaking. That, well, first let's see what she has to sell. Uh, raw meat. No thanks. I'll murder the creature that sent me here. I'll tear him to shreds along with anyone else who witnessed a little slow prank. Or this is a curious mix-up. No, I'll be... It'll be quite the story to tell tomorrow. Sorry, my lady. I came up with a magical pyramid. I didn't know where I would end up. I'm just going to tell the truth. You disagree? Okay, so I'm gonna... Another game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Only does one at a time. Whoa! Maybe not. Oh, her reason is seven. Oh! So she gets seven ticks each time. Okay. I only get one. Maybe I should have used her. I don't know if her reason's any better. Well, I don't think I can hold out that many times because one more time and she wins. All right, so what happens? A magical pyramid, eh? Frivolous and lecherous magic, more like. Me okay. Teleport, how do you, okay. Um... I understand, but okay. So how do I pick it up? I guess I should have read that. You know what? There. I could do this. Go. Uh, pyramid. Oh, that's it. Give them to your party member, or drop them on the ground. What Throw them around to bypass traps. Oh, I know where I can use this. Out on the docks. Okay. Um. But how do I take it? Oh, pick up. Probably like that. Painting of a woman. All right, you know what? I can come back here later. Don't just you there. Cut it out. Well, how am I supposed to leave if? No, oh, I guess here. Don't just stand. Okay. To the door to town hall bathroom. I'm going to make a note here that Cecilia was in there, in case I need her for anything later. Okay, um, now, let's see. Where am I? Oops. I actually want to... Okay, so we're going to have to go the long way here. Actually, I haven't checked these crates yet. Uh, let's switch to her. Ooh, a book. Uh, now I want to show you something about books that I've learned. Okay, freezing arrow. And an 
empty grenade. Okay, now if you go to books, this is where you learn recipes. He Who Smells It, Volume 3. So when you read it, it gives you a little story. Rumor has it the Norse smiths make their great axes. When you close it, <clears throat> you learn a new recipe. Or two. Or three. I've read... I've had quite a few turn up. Um, okay, so let's... Let's continue. Now what is this place? You know, I don't want to get sidetracked. I want to, I want to get down to the dock. So this is like a market area, like a town square. I already talked to most of these people. Oh, you know what I could do? Use a rift to go to the harbor. Yeah. Okay. Because now that I have both pyramids, s I know this is silly, but I couldn't get past this rope over here. Uh, nope, not on this dock. Where was it? Oh, it was this other dock. I grabbed a couple fishing poles. <clears throat> I don't know if that will allow me to fish. They're listed as weapons. And I got like a green one, a white one, and a yellow one. But I haven't been able to use it like to catch fish. So I may end up just selling those. Okay, so notice this rope. I tried burning it, <clears throat> tried cutting it, tried using a, a trap, <clears throat> disarm thing, nothing was working. So let me see if I can toss a pyramid right there. And then if I use this, you know what, before I do this, no, uh, I'll take it with me. There, now we're over on this side. Nothing in there, and hey, very awesome. I'll take it all. Okay, let's pick that up. And unidentified, you have found an unidentified, identify it with an identified, or pay a merchant to do so. You and the merchant will need enough points to do so. Okay, understood. Okay, and I'm going to toss this one over here, and then use this one, and then pick this one back up. Man, those are awesome. Okay, now I've got, uh, what is it, this bag? This one, yeah, I've got one just for books. Now, I think I can get rid of all these books. I think once you read them and you get the, the skill out of it or whatever, I think you're good, but I'm just going to hang on to them. Okay, now what is this? Okay, so what's my lore? Yeah, I don't know. Is that... Probably is it a skill? No. Lore master zero. Well, let's see if I can use my thing anyway to look at. Need a level one lore master. Need a level one lore master. Okay, that answers that. Now, trap disarm, I'm going to send over to her and those, because I think I'm going to use her <coughs> as my alchemist. I've started putting herbs and stuff in her bag here. So that's what we're going to do with her. And she grabbed a bunch of empty potion bottles and empty bottles from a wizard's house. Well, that's pretty cool how you can steal uh, you have to 
You have to sneak, and then you can steal if no one no one's around. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, okay, so we're gonna go back into town now. We get to continue adventuring in here. Man, there's so many skills, awesome skills to choose. There's that one that lets you talk to pets. Now there's Lore Master. Of course, I want to do Alchemy and Blacksmithing. That's not even any of the uh, combat skills. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop this episode here. Let's see where we are. Yep, found a bunch of crafting stations back in there. Okay, uh, so I'm going to keep on playing. We'll fast forward in time, and you can catch me on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.